Hi there, it's Lisa Grace Wright with your Personal Best Training Studio, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about something I saw pop up on my social media feed the other day. It's something that I first saw a few years ago. You've probably seen it too. And I'm not going to lie. I skimmed through it because it's interesting, but can also give us a limited view of the relationship between food and exercise. Before I get into it, if you don't already know me, I help men and women over 50 who are active now and want to continue to be active for the next 10, 20, or 30 plus years. Okay, so I'm talking about one of those charts that outline the burpee equivalents for different foods. Do you know what I'm talking about? A cookie equals 141 burpees. Small meatball sub sandwiches equals 402 burpees. A Big Mac equals 506 burpees. I've also seen charts for how many miles it takes to walk or run off different foods. For example, it takes one hour and 23 minutes to walk off one quarter of a large pizza or 42 minutes of running at five miles per hour. And it takes 48 minutes of walking to burn off a blueberry muffin or 25 minutes of running. So on the one hand, this is interesting because it makes you realize just how much of an impact what you eat can have on your body weight wise even though the numbers themselves are pretty meaningless. Because there are a lot of things that affect how many calories a person burns from their sex to their size to their age and a lot more. But on the other hand, this approach overlooks something very important, the actual nutrition that different foods give your body. So food is more than calories and how much it takes to burn it off. So the food we eat is packed with vitamins, minerals, and other compounds that help build and power our muscles and bones and create and regulate hormones, boost our immune system, and help our cells and organs do their job. And it also can be filled with unhealthy fats, added sugars, excess sodium, and refined grains that make it harder for our body to function at its very best. So the idea is to eat more of the foods that add value to your body. Things like veggies, fruits, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. And also to eat less of those that don't contribute to our health and well-being like added sugars, and ultra-processed foods. Just something to keep in mind, it's not always about the calories. So while those burpee charts are interesting, it's good to remember that it's only a tiny part of the whole story. And if you are over 50 years old and looking for a proven way to move better, feel better, and age actively, our 21-day Balance and Strength program may be able to help you. We have a step-by-step -step program designed to help you improve your balance and feel stronger and more fit. You can learn more about it by clicking through the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I want you to make it a fantastic and nutritious day.